group of devices. Devices in a multicast group are assigned in a multicast group IP address in the range of 224.0.0.0 to 239.255.255.255. Multicast addresses begin with FF0. A multicast IP address requires a corresponding multicast MAC address that begins with 1005E in hexadecimal. So here's our activity. Connect the following frame structure to its corresponding field size. Good morning everyone, so this is our report 5.2 the land switches. So the map address table, switch fundamentals. A layer 2 internet switch makes its forward decisions based on the layer 2 internet map addresses. A switch that is powered on the map address table has, has not yet learned the map addresses for the four attached pieces. And take note, the map address table is sometimes referred to as content addressable memory, CAM, or the table. Learning MAC addresses. The switch dynamically builds the MAC address table. The process to learn the source MAC address is the first one is to switch as examining all the kind of frames for new source MAC address information to learn. If the source MAC address is unknown, it is added to the table along with the port number. The third one is if the source map address does, does, does exist, the switch updates the refresh timer for that entry. And by default, most internet switches keep an entry in the table for 5 minutes. The process to forward the destination map address is if the destination map address is a broadcast or a multicast, the frame is also plugged out of ports except the incoming port. And if the destination map address is a unicast address, the switch will look for a match in its map address table. If the destination map address is in the table, it will forward the frame out the specified port. If the destination map address is not in the table or an unknown unicast, the switch will forward the frame out of ports except the incoming port. The filtering frames. As the switch receives frames from different devices, it is able to populate its MAC addresses table by examining the source MAC address of every frame. When the switch MAC address table contains the destination MAC address, it is able to filter the frame and forward out a single port. And the frame forwarding mechanism is the switches. Switches use one of the following forwarding methods for uh, switching data between network frames, ports. The, the first one is the score and forward, and uh, the second one is the cut through. Next, switching forward, switch forwarding methods, cut through switching. In cut through switching, the switch buffers just enough of the frame to read the destination MAC address so that it can determine the which port to forward the data. The switch does not perform any error checking on the frame. Next is there are two variants of cut through switching. First one is the fast forward switching. Offers the, the lowest level of latency. The switch immediately forwards a packet after reading the destination address. This is the most typical form of cut through switching. Next one is the fragment free switching in which the switch stores the first 64 bytes of the frame before forwarding. It is a compromise between store and forward and mass forwarding switch. Memory buffering on switches. An internet switch may use a memory buffering technique to store frames before forwarding. Before forwarding. Then buffering may also use when the destination port is busy due to congestion and the switch stores the frame until it can be transmitted. There are two types of memory buffering techniques. 
First is the part based memory. Frames are stored in views that are linked to specific incoming and going ports. A frame is transmitted when all the frames added up in complete transmitted. Next, memory buffer method is the shared memory. All frames are deposited into a common buffer which is shared by all parts of the switch. Duplex and speed settings. There are two types of duplex settings used for communication on an internet network. First one is the full duplex. Both ends of the connection can send and receive simultaneously. Next is half duplex. Only one end of the connection can send at a time. Most devices use auto negotiation which enables two devices to automatically exchange information about speed and duplex capabilities and choose the highest performance mode. Duplex mismatch is a common cause of performance issues with internet links. It occurs when one part of the link operates at the duplex while the other part operates at full duplex. Auto MDIX Connections between specific devices such as Switch, switch to switch, switch to router, switch to host, and router to host devices once required the use of specific cable, crossover or spectrum media. Most switch devices now support the automatic video independent interface crossover or the auto IX feature. This is an A. This is enabled by default on one switch since iOS. 12.2 since iOS 12.2. When enabled using the MDIX auto interface configuration command, the switch detects the type of cable attached to the port and configures the interface accordingly. 5.3 address the solution protocol. Destination on same network. There are two primary addresses assigned to a device on a Ethernet LAN. Physical address or the internet MAC address and logical address, the IP address. As an example, PCA sent by an IP packet to the file server on the same network. The layer 2 internet frame contains destination MAC address and source MAC address. The layer 3 IP packet contains source IP address and destination IP address. Destina when the destination IP address is on a remote network, the destination MAC address will be the address of the host default gate. In the figure, PCA is sending an IP packet to a web server on a remote network. The destination IP address is that of the file server. The destination MAC address is that an Ethernet interface of R1. Introduction to ARP. When a device sends an Ethernet frame, it contains these two addresses, the destination MAC address and source MAC address. To determine the destination MAC address, the device uses ARP. ARP provides two basic factors. Resulting IP version 4 or B4 addresses to MAC addresses maintaining a table of mapping. The ARP functions. Ethernet devices refer to an ARP table or an ARP cache. It's memory I or the I near RAM. To, de to find the MAC address that is mapped to the IP B4 address, a device will search an ARP table for destination IPv4 address and a corresponding MAC address. If the MAC's destination IPv4 address is on the same network as the source IPv4 address, the device will search the IRP table for the destination IPv4 ad address. If the destination IPv4 address is on a different network than the source IPv4 address, the device will search the IRP table for the IPv4 address of the default name. Removing entries from ARP table. 
every device has an ARP cache timer that removes ARP entries that have not been used for a specified period of time. The time sleeper, depending on the device operating system, as shown in the figure, some of the Windows operating systems store the ARP cache entries for two minutes. ARP tables, and the routers, and the system router, the show IP ARP command is used to display the ARP table. On the Windows host, on the Windows 7 PC, the ARP dashboard command is issued. Is used to display the ARP table. ARP broadcast, as a broadcast frame, an ARP request is received and process with every device on the local network. ARP request can flood the local segment if a large number of devices were to be powered up. All started accessing network services at the same time. ARP spoofing. A tower can respond to requests and pretend to be providers of services. What type of ARP spoofing attack used by attackers is used to reply an ARP request for the default gateway. In the figure, host A request is a map address of the default gateway. Host C replies to the ARP request. Host A receives the reply and updates its ARP table. It now sends packets distinct to the default gateway to the attacker's host C. Enterprise level switches include mitigation techniques known as the dynamic ARP inspection DDI.